Franklin Hurd. It's like Baltimore County Police have arrested one woman and they're seeking another after the two allegedly stole a calf from a farm and turned it over to a rescue in Virginia. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager joins us now with more on that story tonight. Jeff? Well, Kelly, at about five months old, Millie is back in the care of her owners in Woodstock after what they're calling a smear campaign to justify a calf napping. It's not easy quenching the thirst of a growing calf. So this is what we do twice a day. She gets usually seven in the morning, seven in the afternoon, seven at night. But unlike the other calves in this herd, Millie must rely on humans to feed her. She was a twin. Sometimes cattle have twins. When they have twins, they don't always, they usually reject one. And even if they don't reject one, it, they, there's not enough milk out of one cow to feed two animals. But when three little girls who've helped nurse Millie posted her picture on social media, it appears to have attracted the attention of 44-year-old Jennifer Sully of Baltimore, who along with 19-year-old Erica Wilkinson drove to Braglio Farms and attempted to rescue the calf. We believe that most likely they incorrectly assumed that this calf was going to be raised to be eaten. Baltimore County Police have since tracked down the calf in Virginia and returned it to its rightful owners. They've also arrested Sully, and at this point, her alleged accomplice is still at large. They stuffed that animal in the trunk of a car, drove it four hours to Virginia, and once they got it there, they photoshopped all the photographs to make her look like she was in such poor health because this Mr. Phillips individual uh, runs a so-called nonprofit organization down there, Life with Pigs, and that's how he makes his money. Life with Pigs has since launched a petition drive to save Millie, although it's renamed her Sophie now, and a backlash against the farmers has followed. I've got numerous death threats concerning myself, our employees, the three little girls that are, you know, taking care of the calf, and, you know, they're willing to go to any extent to try and get this calf that was stolen from our property. If you don't want to eat meat, that's fine. Don't eat meat. But I don't think it's right to enforce your beliefs upon the rest of the world, whether it be through social media or, or generating criminal activity. I mean, they're, they're more like a malicious terrorist cult. Ironically, Millie may be the only cow at Braglio Farms that is safe from the butcher. Because she's a runt, she has become a pet, and the farmers are allowing the children to raise her as a show calf for 4-H events. All right.